frequently asked how big were the plates that Joseph received from Moroni. Joseph Smith said the plates were about eight by six inches and that they, the, the, plates were, the plates and the rings formed a volume. And he said the volume was about six inches high. Many people have interpreted that as meaning the plates were about six inches high, but that's not what he said. He said the volume was about six inches high. I believe that he was referring to the rings that were six inches high, not the plates themselves. If the plates were six inches high, they would weigh well over 200 pounds. And I can't envision Joseph Smith or his wife running around the plates being chased if they weighed 200 pounds. Plus, I know how many plates you would get to six inches, and it's well over the number of plates Joseph would have to have had to write the Book of Mormon and the sealed portion. He only needed 72. The Book of Mormon itself only took 24 plates. And we know that because Moroni gives us some indication that he wrote his book on the very back of the last plate, and his book is a little over 10 pages. So if you take that 10, multiply it times the number of pages you have in the Book of Mormon, times 24, you end up with 408 pages, which is what my Book of Mormon is, and you have 24 plates. And that is a third of 72, which is a sacred number itself. Uh, 72 was used uh, by the Savior when he spoke to the 12 disciples. He told them that each of them would live to be the age of 72 before they died, except for the three that did not taste of death. And the question is, why did he choose 72? Why not some other number? I believe he chose 72 because it represents three perfect numbers, three 24s. 24 is the number of hours in a day. It's a whole figure, a perfect number. And therefore, three 24s represent three perfect people, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost.